Gravitation The phenomenon of gravitation was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. It is said that Newton discovered the force by seeing an apple fall from a tree on the ground. He wondered why all apples fall vertically downward and not at an angle to the vertical. Why do they not fly off in a horizontal direction? After careful consideration, Newton drew the conclusion that the Earth must be attracting the apple towards itself and this attractive force must be directed towards the center of the Earth. The direction from the apple on the tree to the center of the Earth is perpendicular to the ground and thus the apple falls vertically downwards. Note that the distances shown here are not according to scale. The force of gravitation acting on apples on the tree at different heights from the surface of the earth also acts on objects at even greater heights that are much farther away from the earth. This force acts on even farther objects like the other planets and the sun. The Earth's gravitational force holds the atmosphere. If there had been no gravitational force, there would have been no atmosphere due to which the living world would not have survived. In the absence of gravitational force, all objects would have floated. An object thrown vertically upwards would have continued to move upwards and would have never fallen on the ground. Introduction to Scientist Sir Isaac Newton was one of the greatest scientists of recent times. He was born in England. He gave his laws of motion, equations of motion, and theory of gravity in his book Principia. Before this book was written, Kepler had given three laws describing planetary motions. However, the reason why planets move in the way described by Kepler's law was not known. Newton, with his theory of gravity, mathematically derived Kepler's laws. In addition to this, Newton did groundbreaking work in several areas, including light, heat, sound, and mathematics. He invented a new branch of mathematics. This is called calculus and has wide-ranging applications in physics and mathematics. He was the first scientist to construct a reflecting telescope. After knowing about the great scientist, let us now proceed to understand the relation between force and motion.